Hello and welcome back to more Asian Dynasties. Time for the second from last Japanese campaign mission. Greetings, Kichiro. I have fortified the castle as instructed. Now, we wait. What is wrong, my friend? You look stricken, but not from the field of battle. Mototada, you've known the master since childhood. You are his friend. Tell me the truth. Did the master find me wandering the ruins of my conquered village, as he says? Did he rescue me? Yes and no. You see, it was he who conquered first your clan and then your family. He ordered your parents to death. I have followed Tokugawa blindly. You have followed him because he is your master. Then what does that make me? The master has always seen in you a man with great promise. You must share his confidence. Now come. I have a feeling that fortune will smile on us in the coming battle. The battle is joined! To the walls! Defend Fushimi Castle until the enemy falls. Or until we do. Now, if memory serves, this is actually a very good mission for sure. European we intervention. Must get the to safety. I will defend the castle while you clear the eastern road of enemies. Alright. We lose if this castle's destroyed. So we have this big fortress, this will always be under attack at the front here. And our buddy there is commanding these yellow forces. They're gonna help defend, they have these barracks here. And they have a, and they have a small but steady supply of resources. So what we have to do is go at the side and get missions done, basically, to keep the units strong. We don't have a whole lot of room for gathering supplies, is a problem. Um, luckily there is wood here, and we can make rice patties, so we can make the most of what we've got. Uh, obviously you want to upgrade your food rates immediately. Also, burn down any tents you can to help, you know, keep the enemy supply blocked. There are a lot of little missions you can do, but what you're trying to do is secure this road on the right. So the first thing we're actually going to do is uh, I would like to ship in some units. So, let's get some units coming out. And how many people are on that right now? Seven, so we can get these three will fit on it. Then we need to start getting more people on other resources. Okay. So you do get a slow start to the economy. Can we really only afford... Yeah, we can only afford one. Food's tight. When food is tight, you usually switch to making archers. They cost less. They're very cheap units. So once we have a decent little army, we're going to start moving around. There are tre There is treasure, though. Which is nice. In fact, you know what? We're going to start gathering the treasure to help kickstart the economy. only fit one more person on that rice paddy field after this, so we're going to queue up one more guy uh, so that it keeps producing while I tell them. Well, I tell them to go to a different one. So I'll have to keep my eye on that. Uh, we do want to get more people in that gold mine sometime soon, though. We're going to have people up there getting wood. Our loyalty is to the people of Fushimi. We fight for the castle and for its lord. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and take that, and just by going up there, we simply got a bunch of ninja. So, that's very nice. 
I would like more shrines, though. In fact, I need many more shrines. So you guys have that done. What did we get? We got 300 wood from that. That was actually a good find. Let's go down here. I believe there is some kind of small enemy outpost. With the blood of our enemies. Do not stop now. Blood the gates. Hmm. Okay. What I said before about European intervention being very, very good here. We want one of these babies. Uh, and the reason why we want one so badly, European siege units are great on the defensive. So we can put them right at the front gate to aid the troops. Because the enemies do have flaming arrows. And they're actually doing a hell of a lot of damage there. I've actually never had this gate fall, and it might fall this time. Yeah, they're doing some serious damage. Would, hey, troops down there, you want to go out there and get rid of that guy? Wow. Okay, we're going to have to keep moving up here. Keep getting progress done. That thing is almost done. So here's the road here. So this was just an alternate path to it. Okay. And we want to switch to experience to get shipments faster. And immediately ally with the Dutch. Uh, the Portuguese have better cannons for us, however the Dutch will help us with the economy, and the economy is a problem in this stage. Jesus, that gate's health is getting pretty low. We're actually going to increase export to help get our cannons faster. We're also gonna want more samurai, which means more shrines. So hurry up with that. There we go, we have five samurai producing. They already blew down some of the gate, great. Okay, I'm gonna go do some damage over here. That is actually a big army. Do I really, you know what? Yes, I wanna, I'll lead them in here and start picking them off. This is actually working very well. Picking off some stragglers. And, ah, great, there's an army here, too. Well, not really much of an army, but some troops. Come on. Okay, my samurai can probably take these guys. I'm pretty sure my samurai are good against these guys. Yep. The enemies have one of the uh, local camps there, a Zen temple, and they're using Zen troops. Luckily, the samurai are pretty good here. Okay, samurai need to go down to the front gate. And increase hand attack of the army. Luckily, ninja have... Great damage. Okay. Okay, good. Some of the troops have been let out enough to fight those. Okay. So I'm actually going to have my guys wait here then. And we are actually running a little low on troops over here. We're going to have to do something about that soon. Okay, we need to get rid of uh, get rid of this so that they're not making uh, their Zen temple guys anymore. They're using this kind of like a barracks. Oh, these guys, yeah. I believe these guys are anti-cavalry and, in fact, very good ones and inexpensive ones as well. So we're going to ship in units. Hold on to that for now. And we're going to take this over and use it as our own barracks. How to keep that to seven. And you forgot he can actually train units. We need to get him to train some units. That's actually a big army. 
Uh, we need you guys. Yeah, build more shrines. Population cap's a problem. Okay, help secure the road. And yeah, good against cavalry and buildings. Very inexpensive units. Let's build a ton of them right now. Okay, this is going well. The hand attack upgrades against buildings have helped a lot. And our experience is going up very quickly, even naturally, just from how many shrines we have. We can also get some good upgrades here, I believe for hand attack. That basically just gives us a free shipment and a half, I believe. And uh, yeah, increases hand infantry damage for all of my units, so that means samurai as well, which is major. So we will actually have that one stocked up. We can also get this, which decreases unit upgrade costs. That is actually quite major, although a bit expensive. All right, we are ready to burn that down because these guys are very good against against buildings. We've already got a home shipment that'll make them even better against it. So these guys are really gonna kick some ass. Alright, burn it down. Oh yeah, look how fast we drain that thing's health. Alright, the escape route's been cleared. We have fought hard to prevent the inevitable, but our resistance is weakening. I don't know, you're actually doing pretty good on the front line now. It is up to you to escort the people to safety. Use the road to the east, but always be aware of the enemy. Okay. What we need to do here is they're, they're going to try and ambush troops as they come along the path. The path is they go along this road and up here, and this is escape. So what we're doing is we're positioning a few units along each major kind of checkpoint area of the road. We need one right here, in case they come in from here. Alright. <laughs> Forgot we have military up here because that's where it ships automatically. You must protect them. And we're actually going to stop producing uh, any villagers because we don't need them anymore. And yeah, you can be right at the gate here to help. And we're also going to highly increase I exports. And you know what? Uh, you guys are going to be up here. Except for the archers in the group, we're gonna stay here. You guys here. We're pretty well spread out. This is good. And all we need to do is wait until we've saved 30 villagers. Which is actually quite easy, as you can see. Yeah, they come in groups of six, so shouldn't take too long. Oh, here's an ambush. Good thing we have the archers here. To the east. You must protect them. And we might as well just get upgrades. In fact, the experience upgrade would be nice because experience is also what levels you up and gets you more cards. So we will take that. In fact, we can train troops right here. And riders would be really nice because they can move very quickly so they can get between areas to defend quickly if need be. You see? I knew people would come up here. And, uh, you know, it would actually be useful to have a couple of you up there. You people are out of wood? Okay, gather over there. Not that we have a shortage. 
Uh, hey you. We can get another. We can get another one soon. Okay. Villagers escape to the east. You must protect them. Soon as we have enough export. And it looks like no one's attacking right here, surprisingly enough. I'm gonna actually just have a hotkey for these guys. Um, now, before I have done an experiment where I went down here and I destroyed every little camp down here and everything up along here, uh, they'll just keep spawning units from off-screen, so that doesn't actually help. Uh, this Ken's getting pretty beaten up. Good thing we have another one out. Yeah, these- this horse artillery is actually doing quite a bit to help. It's good because it does area of effect damage with the cannonballs, and these are specifically good. You must protect them. I know. Uh, these cannons are specifically good against infantry, which is what the enemy is primarily using. As you can see, it really is doing a lot of damage. Uh, yeah. St yeah, stay set up. I don't know why for a second it was showing them as if they weren't set up. Uh, yeah, they could actually use a few archers right up there. Yeah, it seems like this place is a big one to get attacked. Let's have that one in position. Face the correct way. There we go. Alright, we're almost done. Villagers escape to the east. You must protect them. Yes, yes. You know what, I'm actually gonna grab a church wagon. Uh, we don't really need one right now, but I wanna show you guys exactly what it is. It builds, because uh, Asian teams can all build a temple, however they cannot build the European church. So we're actually gonna take a look at that and compare them side by side. That'll be interesting to uh, kill some time while we wait. Although I believe we're just about to win. I'm sorry, you can build a monastery, not a temple. Actually, you know what, we might win before I can show you. Church wagon improvement complete. It gives us it here for some reason. Alright, uh, you see, the monastery, rather than being a church kind of building with healers and stuff, it's a mercenary building. It's kind of like the out- The situation is a success, but the battle rages on. If you must die, men, then do so fighting. The European equivalent of a monastery is actually a, um, a saloon where you hire mercenaries. We have succeeded in occupying the enemy, but the battle is over. You must go, Kichiro. I cannot. This is Tokugawa's fight, not mine. Tokugawa has made you the man you are. It is up to you to decide whether that man is an orphan or a general. Now go. Heed my words. I have chosen to make a stand within my castle. To die out quickly. It would be easy to escape and to run from death. But that is not the way of the warrior. To sacrifice your life for your master is an unchanging principle. In that way, it is true. All right, heavy ending. Six new cards. Let's see, this is always the hardest part of knowing what to do with the cards. Honestly, I don't feel like I need any other cards. 
I know that there are obvious improvements I could do, but really, we don't need to do any of that. On the next episode is, I believe, if memory serves, the final episode of the Japanese campaign, and then we're on to China. Until next time, have a nice day.